kama mimi ni kiumwa ambapo natakiwa mimi nisafirishwe labda nipelekwe India siwezi kusafiri maana yake hawatoi hawatoi kwa njia yoyote ile naitwa Emmanuel Robert naishi Mwakaji Selemu mimi ni makonde kutoka Zanzibar. Mimi nashughulika na masuala ya kiwanda cha kufiatua matofali. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa ninajipanga ili niende nichukue saruji kutoka nje nilete huku ili nitumie katika shughuli zangu za kiwandani. Lakini wao waliniambia sisi hatuwezi tukakupa passport hata kama umeishi hapa Zanzibar kipindi kirefu, hiyo hatuwezi tukatoa nyinyi bado mnatambulika kama ni stateless Maisha stateless ni maisha wasiwasi. Kwa sababu unakaa katika taifa ambalo ndio unasema umezaliwa. Lakini wakati huo unasema mie leo na kesho siji kama nitamka salama. Huenda nikapoteza properties zangu. Mimi leo na kesho huenda watu wakanibagua hata katika kutafuta leadership. Lakini inapokuja sheria mpya ya kusema kwamba tunatafuta stateless ni nani e, unajikuta wewe umekuwa victim wakati ambapo ushatumikia taifa kwa muda mrefu sana. By applying the, the Immigration Act of 1995 the CAP 54 they are considered that they are, they are not citizen of Tanzania because they have been born in Tanganyika but at the time of birth they are, they are, their parents were not citizens. Now some of them they have been denied right of movement right to move abroad for instance to be issued travel with travel documents for instance passports fursa kama za kufanya biashara ya kwenda nje tunakuwa hatuwezi kukapata kama mimi nimekosa fursa hiyo ya kwenda kuchukua saruji kule nje na kuleta Zanzibar kwa ajili ya shughuli zangu mimi za kufiatua matofali nimekosa siwezi nikapata If you read the, the, the Immigration Act and the Citizenship Act, the, the travel documents, for instance, passports, is only issued to the bona fide citizen of Tanzania. Now, once a person comes at your desk, then you ask him, Nitauombaje uraia wa Tanzania wakati mimi nimezaliwa humu humu? Akanambia, hey, itabidi ujazi tu fomu. Hiyo yupeleke kwa, 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 kwa waziri wa mambo ya ndani alafu yeye aliniambia unilipe milioni kumi. The settlement situation in Tanzania is not clear yet because there hasn't been any study that has been conducted to identify the populations that are affected. So when you talk about statelessness, people don't understand what you're talking about. And this is uh, for both public but also some government officials as well. The government of Network of Tanzania, especially my department, the legal department in the Ministry of Home Affairs, we made some, some amendments in our laws, especially Citizenship Act, CAP 357, on amending certain regulations which will accommodate the people who migrated in Tanzania for many years. Sasa, ikiwa ni sheria mbaya, wametuachia sisi na sisi bado tunaifanya kazi, ambayo inatu isolate au inatubagua hichi ndo kitu ambacho inakuwa affected kwetu hata watoto nitakao za bado nao watakuwa wapo katika kundi la stateless ambao watu wasiokuwa na uraia maalum kwa maana pia na wao watakosa haki za kupata passport by coming up with this amendment of citizenship in 2017 accommodated those who are born in Tanzania in born in Tanzania and their parents who have been naturalized or registered without including the, the names of their children in the, in the in the documents now they apply by lesser fee then they get the certificate of naturalization natakiwa niaombe uraia lakini nikiomba uraia na watoto wangu watatu ni waombe uraia au waombe uraia wanaofika 18 kwa hiyo nyinyi mtabidi mkiingia kupata hiyo kila moja atoe 2 million wakati ambapo pension yangu haifiki 100 dollar kwa mwezi 
sasa 2 milioni tutaspata watu ningependa serikali ichukue hatua ili sisi tuweze kupata haki hizi za passport ambayo itatuwezesha sisi kusafiri na kufanya mambo mengine ya kiuchumi katika kuendeleza taifa letu